What is going on guys, Source here bringing you guys another video and today we are going to be talking about another Black Ops 3 multiplayer and zombies video and also going over the trailer for the Awakening DLC that has just dropped. It dropped yesterday about 15 hours ago and this trailer sums up all four maps and the zombies map and it tells you when it's going to be released. So this Awakening DLC will be released on February the 2nd for PS4 exclusively first and then it will be up about a month later for Xbox One and PC users. Now we are going to go in depth about it, so let's jump into this. So as we obviously know, the Awakening DLC pack is the first of four multiplayer map packs, and the Awakening, then we are going to have three more, and then it will end on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And so anyways, it's just going to be cool season, they're saying, and that the Awakening DLC is all about the map, and if it's all about the map, let's get more in depth about the map so with all these four maps they say they're going to get that three dramatic aspects they want to include the new movement system with the battles they also want to include some ground battles and they want to include some cover to cover combat so gauntlet is the first of the four multiplayer maps so it is set in a military training facility with three distinct lanes now obviously you would know call of duty has always stuck up to that three lane map design and this represents the three lanes of the map each of the three different lanes are actually are their very own distinct kind of environment so you got the arctic environment in the middle then you've got the jungle environment and then you got the other side that's got this urban city area so the next map is splash and it's set in a huge abandoned water park lots of slides lots of underwater things very cool and colorful and very eye-catching so there will be a lot of twisty water slides that you can actually go through with your character this map is designed to be a very fluid and it flows from one part to another someone can really flow into the next part but it will take a while because of the person's play style and there are a lot of opportunities to use underwater combat on this map so obviously it's going to have lots of underwater combat knowing that it's a water park so the third map is called rise so this is set at a construction facility on snowy zarakan and according to one one of the guys from Treyarch, they say it's really the classic Call of Duty map. It's heavily focused on that cover to cover movement from one side to the other. There are lots of different parts you can take, lots of variety and of the way you can move around around the map. The middle lane has got a really choke point feel into it where it pushes all those players into that choke point where it's really going to be an arena battle. And then the final part has lots of underwater opportunities and it looks to be a very, very competitive map and I'm guessing they will put it in the pro league because it does look like a very competitive map the long range the arena all the underwater and it seems like a very very good map so the final map for the multiplayer part of awakening DLC is skyjacked and it is confirmed to be a remake of hijacked and it's very fast-paced map it's very chaotic movement from players now with the new movement system that they have introduced into black ops 3 it means it's it's a different take and perhaps more fun and for some and exciting now taking that original hijacked map from black ops 2 and adding it into black ops 3 it will just add some more fun bits to it which i really do enjoy so finally we have got dur eisendraken which is the zombies experience that is coming in the awakening dlc it is set in this huge medieval castle so it's the first chapter of the dlc that is going to be bought there's like the zombie story that can be bought through the full DLC. This is the first part of it and they've really excelled themselves because it looks like a lot of fun. All of the evil and monuments get these things that have happened in zombies seems to be in this one big castle. The castle is built upon an ancient site where many dark atrocities have occurred within the centuries. The site contains massive deposits of the recent discovered element 115. This map they played with the other elements in zombies so they are going to enter introduce four new mega gumballs and they will bring in new concepts to keep people puzzled now we just went through all the four multiplayer maps and the one zombies map so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video hopefully you guys do get the awakening dlc map pack it seems pretty fun and hopefully you guys did like the maps so this has been source have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys later